Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at some 3D printing related Amazon Prime Day sales. During that time, we may just find something that we have our eyes on and save a little bit of money in picking it up. So I'm gonna show you some things that I've happened to run into and I'll make it easy by leaving links to everything that I talk about here down in the description. So let's start with Creality. They have their own Prime Day thing going on. You can choose to buy from them or you can choose to go to Amazon, but they're offering up to 60% off in some instances here. So when we scroll down, we can see the prices for some of their 3D printers, such as the K1 Max that they now have for $769, K1C for $459, and the OG K1 for $399. We also have the Ender 3 V3KE for 239, the Ender 3 V3SE for 169, and then their Ender 3 V3 for 329, and then the V3 Plus, which is the larger version of this one, for 479. Now, I know that all of these names, when it comes to Creality, can get confusing, all these numbers in the Ender 3 V this, V that make it easy for you. So if you're looking for the most beginnery, least sophisticated 3D printer on this list, that is going to be the Ender 3 V3 SE for 169. And if you want one step up from that, it's going to be the Ender 3 V3 KE for 239. A step up from that, as far as bad cylinders go, is going to be the Ender 3 V3, and then a step up from that is the V3 Plus. And then when you get to your Core XY printers, it's gonna be the K1, followed by the K1C, and then finally the K1 Max so far. The K2 Plus is gonna be coming out this year, but as of right now, that's the order from least sophisticated to most sophisticated. Now, normally Creality would have better deals on their website and then on Amazon it would be a little bit more expensive, but that's not always the case. For example, as we look down here on Amazon, you can get the K1C for $469 and you can get the Ender 3 V3 SE for $175, so it's a little bit more expensive. But if you look down here at the Ender 3 V3, it is $297.49, so it's actually cheaper to get this particular printer over on Amazon as opposed to Creality. So you're gonna to have to bounce back and forth a little bit and see which site is gonna give you the best deal. But I was kind of surprised when I saw that this is actually cheaper from Amazon. Now let's take a look at the Flash Forge stuff. So I just recently did a video comparing the Adventure 5M to the 5M Pro that I'll leave a link to and I'll also leave a card so that you can compare the two and see what the differences are. And if you decide that you wanna pick one up, you can get it for a discount because the 5M is on sale for $279. The normal price is $299. So you get to save yourself about 20 bucks with this Prime Day sale. But if you want to get the 5M Pro, you save a little bit more money because this is $449 down from $499. So $50 off on the 5M Pro, about $20 off on the original 5M. So what's already a really good deal with the 5M just got a little bit better. And while you're here, if you're interested in picking up that enclosure kit, you can grab that from here too so that you'll be able to print that enclosure kit and then make it as close to the 5M Pro as possible with a discount. And by the way, the enclosure kit is also on sale for Prime Day, 20% off for $31.99. It's normally $40, so this is on sale as well. So it's a perfect time for you to get that so you'll be able to put that sweet personalized enclosure over your 5M. Be sure to get on this because this is the cheapest price that I've seen it for so far. Next up, we got the AnyCubic Cobra 3 Combo, and this price is $449 for both the printer and the Ace Pro Multicolor Filament System. Um, and this price is not a price that we haven't seen before back when they were running the deals for the Cobra 3 Combo. We were seeing something like this, but you can get it on Prime Day. You can get it delivered to you pretty soon for only $449. So if you're looking to get in on this, now it's a great time for you to get it and uh, get it for a pretty decent price. I mean, the printer and the multi-filament system for $449, I mean, that's pretty darn good. So here's a printer that I am particularly interested in, and it is the Kitty Q1 Pro 
3D printer, right? And it looks pretty darn cool. So here is what it looks like. Here's that picture right there. Now this is $450. And although they don't say that it's a prime day sale, it's still a pretty darn good price. So if you kind of compare this to the 5M Pro, but then you also get a heated chamber, 350 degrees Celsius hot in, tangle detection. I've always been really interested in this company's printers, but I've never tried them myself. But this definitely does seem like a great price on paper for $450. So if maybe the 5M is not what you want to get into, you want something that will give you the opportunity to print higher temperature materials out of the box because of that 350 degree Celsius hot end and having that heated chamber and it looks pretty cool too, then you might want to consider this. I really wish I had this printer so that I can show it, but I don't. But $450 I think is a really nice price for this particular printer as well. Now let's look at some consumables. I really didn't find much in the way of filament sales that really made me go like, oh man, that's a really good deal. Outside of eSun's speedy PLA filament that they're selling for $11.99 per roll. So I think that is a good price for any kind of filament, but especially high speed filament from eSun. I've used a lot of their filaments in the past and I've always been happy with them. They've been very reliable and they have profiles set up on Bamboo Lab printers already. So you can just use that built-in profile. I had no problems with that either, but I'm clicking through these colors here and you can see that they're all $11.99 for these assortment of colors, white, gray, silver, purple, black, blue, cold white, fire engine red, light blue, light gray, orange, and uh, pink. All right, so some pretty decent colors there. So if you want some cheap filament, $11.99, you won't find too many deals better than that when it comes to full regular one kilogram rolls of filament. Now over on Bamboo Labs website, they are also putting their printers on sale, even though they just had a sale, but it's back again. So if you missed out on that, now is an opportunity to get back on it. For example, you can still get the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini for $199 minus the AMS light. The A1 minus the AMS light, $339. You get the P1S for $559. You can get the P1P, the one that started it all for $4.99 and then when you want to step it up to the X1 Carbon, it's $1,199. I don't like there's any uh, deal associated with that one right now, but these other ones you can get at a discount. So it's a good time for you to jump on that if you haven't already. Let's take a look at some spare parts here and see if those are also on sale. And some of them are. So these are just some A1 parts here and you get a little bit of a discount on a replacement filament color cutter and uh, PTFE tubes. Everything else just seems like it's regular price. And now let's take a look at some filament. With Bamboo Lab, the filament prices are best if you buy more than a few at a time. So for example, if you buy four plus rolls of some regular PLA mat, uh, just the refill, then you can get it for what would turn out to be $14.99, which you know is not a bad price, but you have to buy four or more rolls. So if you're trying to do that, you're trying to buy in bulk, $14.99 for that is not a bad price. You get the RFID technology. So you know it puts all the settings in there for you and I think that's really what you're paying for at the end of the day. So not crazy sales on filament, but there's some discounts associated with it. And that is pretty much it. Those are all of the Prime Day sales that I have run across so far that caught my eye that I wanted to bring to your attention. It's not to say that there's not going to be any other good deals for Prime Day coming out either later on today or even tomorrow. So if you run across any deals on printers or accessories, filament dry boxes, anything like that that I didn't show today, please let everybody know down in the comments so that they can also get a good deal on something that they may be looking out for. But this this is just to get you started. So uh, best of luck. Hope that you find something that you're looking for. And remember the links to the stuff that I showed is going to be down in the description. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.